The pandemic drastically slowing traffic across our border bridges and happening today, City Council will review new data and talk about the impact the virus has had on our borders. We have Good Morning El Paso's Madeline Audley live now with the details of what exactly they might be discussing. Good morning. Good morning. Traffic across these border bridges doesn't look like it used to. New city data shows that pedestrian traffic going into Mexico has slowed by about 70% since March 1st. During that same time period, traffic from personal vehicles going across the border into Mexico has dropped off by about 30%. These numbers are actually up from where they were at the end of March as El Paso's economy slowly reopens. UTEP economics professor Tom Fullerton says we're seeing that traffic drop on both sides. He says it will impact our local governments as they lose sales tax from a decline in shoppers and lose funds from bridge tolls. But he says the retail sector, especially here near downtown, could hurt the most business sector of El Paso, there are going to be a lot higher vacancy rates. Um, there's probably going to be an increase in demolitions because some buildings will get abandoned. Uh, and let's see, eventually um, uh, rents per square foot are going to decline as well. Fullerton says the border restrictions have intensified those impacts, but they were bound to happen either way because if more people die, the economy could suffer even more. Reporting live at the U.S.-Mexico border, Madeline Natalie, good morning, El Paso.